All praises be to Allah, who created the human beings in such a beautiful form. Watching eyes, listening ears. Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to all. This is Zubair Tafiq and you are watching my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will be solving IGCSE ICT 0417 paper 31 May June 2018. So let's start. The paper is open in front of you. So this is basically, you can see over here, uh, this is the paper 041731 May June 2018. And here the paper 3 covers data analysis and web authoring. But in this video, we will cover only web authoring part. Now, the first task is basically what? Evidence document. But before that, I want to do something. I will minimize that. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop with the name work area underscore my candidate number. So right click, click on new and then folder. I will rename the folder as work area, work underscore area underscore 0010. Suppose that's my uh, candidate number. So I will name it as this one work area underscore 0010. Now I have already put the files over here. These are basically the source files and this is the paper. So I'm going to uh, put that uh, source file folder into this folder which I created just right now. So I'm going to cut it, select that and press Ctrl X from the keyboard. Open that work area folder which I've created just right now. Right click and go click on paste. Now once that's done, just you need to first extract all the files over here. So right click and then click on extract here. Once you click on extract here, you will see a lot of files will also come. This is the folder which contains the actual source files. Double click to open and you can see over here all the source files to solve paper 3.1 is present in this folder. I hope this process is clear to all of you. I am going to delete those extra things which I have. There you go. Now I am going to minimize that and then I will go back to my paper. Now the first task which I need to do is this is basically related to the evidence document. Open the file j1831evidence.rtf and then make sure your name, center number and candidate number appears on every page of your evidence document by placing these details in the header. So it is mentioned that these details, name, center number and candidate number must appear in the header. If it is not mentioned then it's your choice wherever you want to put, you can put. Now after that you need to save the word, uh, save this as a word process document in your work area with the file name 18 J1831 evidence followed by your candidate number. The candidate number is basically the role number which has been assigned to you by IGCSE. So let's do it. I will minimize that. I will go to my work area and here my files, uh, the source files are present. Where is the evidence document? Here you can see J1831 evidence. Right now you can see the type of the file is RTF, rich text file format. Double click to open it. Now it's going to open. It might take a little while. You need to be just patient in order to open it. Okay, fine. Finally, it started to open. Okay. Let it open first and then uh, we can just uh, have the necessary things which are required to have in it. So I will maximize that. Now you, here you can see that J1831 evidence is being opened in front of you. I need to add some information in the header. So just take the mouse pointer at the top of the document at the top area. You can see where my mouse uh, vertical bar is. Then double click on that. Now here you can see that uh, you are inside the header right now. So I need to put some information inside it. What is the information? 
The information is your name. So write your name. Always write your full name. Okay. Then put a comma. And then what you require? You require center number. Suppose the center number is OM077. And then the candidate number 00010. Now that is done. So just double click outside. So you have done it. Just after every comma, put a space. There you go. You can press the escape key also from the keyboard to get out of the header. That's done. Now, I need to save it. I need to save it inside my work area with the name J, uh, J1831 Evidence followed by my candidate number. Go to File. Click on Save As. Either double click on this PC or double click on Browse. And then locate for the folder. I've created my folder on the desktop. So I will go over there. And there you see work area underscore 0010. And then I'm going to put the name J1831 evidence followed by my candidate number so j1831 evidence 0010 why 0010 because that is my candidate number now here you can see that the save as type as rich text file so better to convert that into a word document so this is the word document and click on save now you can see that I will just minimize that and I will show you whether it has been saved or not. Now here you can see that this is the evidence uh, document J1831 evidence 0010 and here you can see the save as tab which is Microsoft Word document. So it means that I have saved my uh, evidence document with the required uh, changes. Now the next task is task number two which is web design. You're going to develop a web page for a small construction company called Bobby's Brick. And then, okay. Now here you can see that all the color codes must be in hexadecimal. Create a new folder called bb underscore html. Locate the following files and store them in your bb underscore html folder. Now you need to create a folder called bb underscore html. And all these files which are listed over here, they need to be cut and paste in the required folder, which is bb underscore html. Let's do it. Now here, I, this is my work area. Here I'm going to right click, new, and then folder. So the name of the folder is bb underscore html. This is the folder name which I created. Now. I'm going to put all those files, these ones, these ones, BB contact, BB map, BB text one, BB text two, BB logo, BB style, blocks, brickwork, paving. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine files are there which needs to be put inside the folder BB underscore HTML. So go to your source files and just Copy those files, BB contact, logo, map, BB style, BB text one, BB text two, brickwork, blocks, and then towing. Press control C from the keyboard or just right click on these selected files and click on copy. Go back and then put them over here in the file BB uh, in the folder BB underscore HTML. Right click and click on paste. Now you can see that all these files have been pasted in the required folder. Now, the next step, create a web page called bb.htm. This work, uh, web page must work in all browsers and will have a table structure as shown below. Now here you can see the table is present and the design has to be as per this table. So how many rows are there? One, two, three, four. 
four rows are there in this table and how many columns are there one two and three now so we are going to create a table with four rows and three columns so now this work has to be done in expression web 4.0 i have already opened expression web 4.0 so there, there it is so what i need to do is click on file click on new either you click on html from here okay or you click on page and from here this is the journal tab and under the journal you can see these options are there so by default it is html so let it be html and press ok now you can see that previously we had untitled one and this is untitled two so you can uh, rename that with uh, bb dot htm so you are going to save it file save and make sure each and every thing is saved in your folder which you have created which is the work area underscore zero zero one zero so go to the desktop work area underscore and then yeah it should be inside bb underscore htm double click on that now what's the name of that uh, site that page bb.htm so bb.htm so click on save now here you can see that bb.htm is there so you can remove this untitled underscore one dot html now that is done i need to design the table so in order to design the table you need to click on design design split and code so you need to click on design here you can design the website now in order to design that in order to add the table how we can do if you see over here in the in the menu bars this is the tool uh, table and here you can see insert the second method is you just take the mouse pointer on this toolbar and in this toolbar towards this side you can see the insert table option is present so the choice is yours whatever uh, option you want to adopt you can adopt so i will click on table and then insert table so how many rows and how many columns i need just double check one two three four four rows and one two three three columns so four rows i need uh oh yeah four rows and three columns now i need to specify the width of the table now here if you see in this table you will see the cell d its width is 1200 and the height is 250 so it means that my width the table the width of my table should be 1200 now here also you can see 400 and this is 400 and this is 400 so 400 plus 400 is 800 800 plus 400 is 1200 so it means that the width of the table is 1200 so i need to specify the width also so here i'm going to specify the width and that will be 1200 now that width is in pixels each table cell is identified with a letter and all dimensions are in pixels so by default it is in percentage i'm going to click on in pixels now anything else i need to do yeah the external table border must have a width of 4 pixels and all internal grid lines must have a width of 2 pixels. Table borders and grid lines must be visible. This portion carries 15 marks, so you need to be very careful about that. Now, and here you can see the letters are given A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It said that the letters and dimensions shown in the table must not appear on the web page why because it is for the students to see what actually the examiner wants so you need to make the dimensions as per the requirement of the paper and make sure you don't write these dimensions in your page in your web page it shouldn't appear over there 
Now, the border, uh, since it is said that the border should be visible, so by, uh, I will just make it as one so that the border is visible. This thing, uh, the border must have a width of 4 pixels and then the grid lines must be of 2 pixels. This can be done afterwards also when we are going to create the style sheet so it will be a lot easier. Now just these things are done, press OK. Now here you can see that one, two, three, four. Four rows and three columns table has been created in front of you. Now, what I need to do next is I need to change the dimensions of each and every cell. 400 by 300 is for the first cell. <laughs> now, let me first change the dimensions and then we will do all this uh, stuff. Now, here you can see this is the cell, just right click on that and then you need to click on what? This is basically a cell inside the table. So click on cell properties. I need to specify what? The width and the height. So the width is, as per the paper, the width is 400 and the height is 300. So the width is 400 and the height is 300. Press apply and OK. Now the next cell, right click, cell properties, again specify width, that is 400 and that is 300. No need to do that one by one. You can also do it like this. Just select all these three cells, okay, right click on any one of them, go to cell properties, I need to specify the width and the height. So you can uh, do it in both ways also like this, just select both of them, right click, cell properties, previously I did that, so I, I will be doing for the next two, specify width, so here it is 400 and uh, the height is 300 click on apply and press ok so it means that for the first row my dimensions are set now for the next row let's see you need it it has only one cell it means that you need to merge these three cells in this row so select all the three cells right click on any cell click on modify and then click on merge cells now these three cells have been merged into one single cell now right click over here and go to cell properties because i need to change the width and the height click on specify width so the width is 1200 pixels and the height is 250 so 250 click on apply and press ok now what about the next cell next row similarly the next row has also 1200 width and 150 height so I need to repeat the same procedure again just select the, all the cells in the third row right click on them click on modify and then merge cells now, row number 3 also has been merged into a single cell. Now, let's change the dimensions of that. Right click, go to modify, oh, sorry, go to cell properties and specify the width. The width is 1200 pixels and the height is 150. Let me check it again. Yeah, it is 1200 by 150. Now, I need to click on apply and then press ok. Now the last row, here you can see that the three, uh, I have three cells and here it is two cells. It means that I need to merge two cells, any of the two cells uh, so that 
there should be two cells in the last row. So suppose I just click on the last two cells and I'm going to merge the last two cells so that right click modify merge cells so this is one cell and this is the second cell I need to specify the dimensions now the dimensions are 600 by 300 for both so right click modify uh, sorry right click cell properties the width is 600 and the height is 300 click apply and press ok similarly I can do for this one just right click cell properties specify width that is 600 and then specify height that is 300 click on apply and press ok now our layout is done as per the requirement of the paper all the cells, all the rows, the dimensions as per the requirement of this uh, table, it has been done. Now let's move on to the next step. Next step is place in the cell A the image brickwork.jpg. Imagework.jpg. So this is the cell A. In the cell A, I want brickwork.jpg. How to insert the image? Right click. Uh, for image, you need to go to insert. Okay. And here you can see the picture. Got it? Or the second method is you just click on this button in the toolbar, insert picture from file. The choice is yours, whatever you want to do. Go to insert picture from file my folder is present in the work area and this one yeah so brickwork.jpg where is brickwork there you go click on that and click on insert now here you can see that accessibility properties you need to specify some text over here so that sometimes it might have uh, it can happen that if the image doesn't get loaded then that particular text which you are going to specify over here in this box it should appear when you take the mouse pointer over there so that is important so I will write here image of brick work image of brick work okay Press OK. Now here you can see that the brickwork.jpg it came over here. Okay. Now what I do next, what I need to do next, place in the cell be the text, click on an image for further details. So click on an image for further details. Here I'm going to write click on an image for further details click on an image for further details okay that's done set this text as style s2 select that text and apply the style s2 go to the styles click on that a drop down list will come and here you can see that h2 heading h2 so click on h2 you can see there uh, this uh, text on this text i have applied the style h2 now the next is place in the cell see the image paving dot jpg this is the cell c in which i need to put the image paving dot jpg so I will, this time i'm going to click on this button insert picture from file so this is the paving.jpg just click on that either you double click over here or click on this one and click on insert 
again the same message so I will write here image of pay wings is it the same yeah image of pay wing press ok that is a big image it's a large image resize this image in the markup so that it is 394 pixels wide and maintains its aspect ratio I hope you guys know what is an aspect ratio if you guys don't know I will tell you aspect ratio is basically the width to the height ratio of any image if the option aspect ratio is enabled is clicked it means that if you resize the image from the diagonals diagonals means all the four corners top left top right bottom left and bottom right so from all the four corners if you resize the image then the width and the height ratio should be maintained automatically so the uh, it is 394 pixels wide so let's see let's do it just click on this cell or this image right click now this time you're going to click on picture properties just click on picture properties and in this picture properties dialog box you need to click on appearance now here you can see that in the appearance tab you can see the size over here here it is written specified size this is width and this is the height so what I need to change is I need to change the width which is 394 so look here I'm going to change the width the height will automatically change why because here it is written uh, keep aspect ratio and this box is ticked if this box is not ticked and I change the width the height will not change suppose I write here 394 and I press ok you can see over here what happened to the image the width changed but the height didn't change why because I unchecked aspect ratio I will again go to picture properties again go to appearance and now by default keep aspect ratio is ticked okay now here I'm going to do what I'm going to uh, specify the required pixels which is 394 and click on OK okay that's not working no problem just I will press ctrl Z you need to use the shortcut keys like Control Z and Control Y to frequently undo and redo the tasks. Now right click on this picture, go to picture properties, appearance, keep aspect ratio, it should be ticked. And here in the width you need to specify 394. See here, once I specify 394, height of the image is automatically changing. Why? Because this option is ticked previously I showed you that I unchecked that and I changed the width only the height was not changed so it means that at that time the aspect ratio was not maintained but now the aspect ratio is maintained means to say you change the width the height will change automatically you change the height the width will change automatically press ok now here you can see that it is as per our requirement now the next step is place in the cell D the image BB logo dot JPG now BB logo this is the cell A B C and D now right click ok no just don't right click go to insert picture from file now which image you want you need BB logo dot JPG there you go this one double click this accessibility properties alternate text will open I will write here image of the logo of company then click on ok so there you go it is applied Bobby's bricks now the next is make the image a hyperlink 
to open the web page bbconfig.html in a new browser window underscore new make this image as a hyperlink so I need to make this image as a hyperlink to open the web page bbcontact.html in a new web page so let's see how we can do that now just uh, okay just click on that image done I've clicked it now you need to create it as a hyperlink so in order to create the hyperlink you see on this uh, toolbar after the insert picture from file you have a button called insert hyperlink and the shortcut key is control K if you press control K from the keyboard also the hyperlink window will open in front of you and then if you click on the insert menu from the insert menu if you see the fourth option that is hyperlink so these are the three methods by which you can create the hyperlink okay now just click on hyperlink this hyperlink will appear in front of you this uh, insert hyperlink window so what I need to do here is I need to insert uh, make this image I need to make this image as the hyperlink so what I need to do is I, I need to uh, click on the hyperlink okay so that I have already done this insert hyperlink page will come in uh, this insert hyperlink dialog box will come in front of you for which image the logo okay so just let me confirm it again for which it is uh, telling me the paper let's see make this image a hyperlink to open the web page bbcontext.htm so when I click on this image which page should open bbcontext.htm where it should open it should open in a new browser window okay means to say in a new tab so let's do it bb context so i'm going to say click on bb context.htm and then i'm going to select the target frame click on target frame and the target frame is basically underscore new the target frame is what underscore new why because it is mentioned in a new browser window called underscore new so target setting I will write here underscore n e w new now when I write over here new here you can see some options will come page default same frame whole page new window parent frame it should appear in the new browser window so new window click on new window and then you need to press ok once that is done click on here you can see uh, it is showing new window and underscore new in EW press ok and then press ok so that's done now let's see whether the uh, hub link has been created or not you press the control key from the keyboard when I'm pressing the control key from the keyboard what is happening the mouse pointer is changing into a hand sign okay just click here and go to the code now here you can see that In order to see the code, you just click on that particular um, option, that particular word, that particular image to see the code. Now, if I press the control key and I click on this image, you will see 
this uh, BB context uh, page will open in front of me. So it means that it's working. Now, the next step is place in cell E the text from the file bbtext1.txt in the cell E bbtext1.txt so bbtext1 this is a, a text file I will open it so it contains all this image I will select all press ctrl A from the keyboard all the text in this file will be selected and then press ctrl C from the keyboard or right click and click on copy the choice is yours where I need to paste it I need to paste it in the cell E so where is the cell E this is the one here I need to place right click and click on paste so the text appears over here do I need to do anything with the text yes I need to set this text as style h1 I need to apply the style h1 to that so I will select that text from the beginning and then I'm going to go to the styles from here I'm going to click on h1 so you can see that the style h1 has been applied now the next step place in cell F the text from the file bbtext2.txt okay so where is the bbtext2 uh, bb there it is double click to open it select all the text control A control C for copy and then right click over here in the required cell and click on paste that has been pasted now the next step the next step is add your name sentence number and candidate number to the end of this text add it by this is the end so I will write Muhammad Subair Tafik there you go what else I need to do set the text we will undertake building projects in other regions of the word as style age 2 we will undertake okay we will undertake so this is the one I'm going to apply style age 2 to that there you go and then set the text web page design uh, by hot house design web page last edited by as style h3 web page design created by and web page edited by style h3 just click on that and click on h3 now set the text web page design and created by hot house design web page last edited by as h3 so that is done now the next step is the next step is okay edited by you need to include the name also because I'm the one who is editing one more thing did I miss anything uh, yeah cat name center number and candidate number that I missed so center number put a comma om077 put a comma give a space 0010 that is the candidate number now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to apply the style H3 to that also so just select that and then go to styles again press H3 so there you go now this is done the next step make only the text hot house design a hyperlink to the web page this text I need to create a hyperlink when I click on this text 
this website should open in front of me where it should open it should open in the same browser window okay where should it open it should open in the same browser window now let's see the hot house design uh, yeah this is the text hot house design select that text and then you need to create a hyperlink for that just select that text first I've told you three methods to create the hyperlink so you can use any one I'm going to click on this insert hyperlink and to what I want to apply the hyperlink when I click on that a web page should open which web page this one this web page this HTTP this one should open so I'm going to right click on that copy text and then I'm going to paste it over here why I'm doing that because in order to avoid any uh, typing error but since you will get the paper in a hard format so you will not be able to copy and paste at that time so you have to manually type it so please be careful the spellings the things which are being said which are there in the paper you follow that if it is capital make it capital if it is small make it small don't use your own spellings please if any spelling mistake is there then uh, that particular uh, hyperlink will be created but that particular website will not open now once that is done I put the address and then I need to set the target frame what is the target frame the target frame is in the same browser window same frame you need to click on same frame means to say in the same window it should open click on ok and then press ok now here you can see that the text color has changed from blue to black and an underline also came it is a clear indication that the hyperlink has been successfully created how to see that just press the control key and take you can see the mouse pointer has changed press the left mouse click it should open it should open that web page it is processing let's see it is still processing ok anyhow the hyperlink has been created the next task is just let me uh, see it out now just I click on that and I click on the code there you can see that the hyperlink AH reference that is done now the next is I'm going to click on design again and the next step yeah place in the cell G the image of the map provided so in the last cell what I need to do I need to uh, put the image of the map so let's see click in the last cell over here and you need to insert the image so click on this option insert picture from file and where is the map that's the map BD map just double click on that right here image of map press ok now here you can see that the image of the map has come so you can see here all the designing has been done let's see what's the next step okay 
make sure appropriate text is displayed if image is not available so that we have done already center align the table in the browser window hmm. now see here this is our table you need to align it in the center center align the table in the browser so how to do that let's see just you need to right click you need to do what you need to right click and then you need to go to table properties this is called the table properties. Click on that. In the table properties, what you need to do, or oh, just uh, wait for a minute. Right click, go to table properties, and then you need to click on alignment, layout. When you click on alignment, you can see here, it is called center. Click on center, apply, and press OK. Or you just select all, control A, right click. This is basically page properties. So just select all. Here you can see center. See here, that's very simple. I'm clicking on center this one just click on center it will be aligned in the center okay okay now what is the next step now attach the style sheet bb style dot css to your web page and to bb contact dot htm save the web page in your bb underscore html folder now let's see how we can do that okay now just uh, let me first check that in the web browser whether it is appearing in the center or not just click on this uh, preview in Chrome button and just check it out whether it is appearing in the center or not. It's opening and now here you can see that it is totally in the center. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to close that. Now the next step I'm going to perform is the attaching of the style sheet. Attach the style sheet bbstyles.css this one to your web page and to bbcontact.html okay let's do it now how to attach a style sheet how to attach what how to attach a style sheet go to Yeah. Now you need to go to format menu. The format menu you can see the new style. CSS styles, CSS properties, table styles. You need to click on CSS styles, take the mouse pointer uh, to uh, click on format menu and from format menu you have the second option called CSS styles. Okay? Now on CSS styles you need to click on attach style sheet when you click on attach style sheet you need to specify for the location where the style sheet is present which style sheet you need to attach bbstyle.css so i'm going to click on browse so this is the style sheet which is already present in our work area so double click on that bbstyle 
so baby style.css that's done okay attach to the link attach as attach to the current page attach as a link okay that's fine press ok once that is done some modification has, has been done you might see some changes over there also okay now the same you have to apply on the context also this is the context so I'm going to repeat the same procedure again go to format CSS and then attach style sheet browse baby style and press ok now how you can see that some modification is done as per the style sheet ok now the next thing is you need to save the web page in your bb underscore html folder file save as where to save bb underscore html folder desktop work area bb underscore html and then click on save they want yes no problem it was already saved that you should have clicked on the save instead of save as you can click on this one a file and save so that has been saved this also file and save okay that's fine now the next and the most important thing the next and the most important thing that is basically the hey you can view it on the browser also by clicking on this uh, button you can see this is how it looks like I will close that the next thing is open the bb uh, style sheet bb style.css in a suitable software package and examine its content you need to open the style sheet in uh, expression web and you need to modify it as per this requirement which is given over here so this is the main thing this is the important thing you need to do it in a proper way in order to get full marks how to do it let's start now let's see first of all I need to open that start sheet okay file open this job work area underscore this this is the start sheet bb style double click to open it Now you can see that the BB style uh, style sheet has been opened in front of you and it contains only a few things the body background color which is given hexadecimal format and uh, for H1 the font family is Arial. Now you need to modify the changes as per this requirement. As per this requirement. So the requirement says that H1, H2 and H3 should display the font Zap Chancery. If this is not available, black arrow ITC. If that is also not available, then you need to display the default Surrey font. Okay, let's do it. So, H1. H1, H2 and H3. Okay, fine. H1, comma, H2, comma, H3. Why all these three? Because for all these three heading levels we need to have this text that chance three black adder itc uh, or default sorry font so the font family is Arial previously just you need to change that okay now we need to change it to zap chance three z a p f please make sure you write the spellings correctly 
If it is capital, write capital. If it is small, write small. C H A N C E R Y Chancery. Okay. Then put a comma and then put a double quotes black adder itc let me see the spellings black adder b l s e k black adder itc okay now after that i need to put a closing double quotes then you put a comma so what is the next thing that is the serif font okay just put a double quote and write s e r i f and close double quotes okay now see here i didn't put the closing double quote that's why it is highlighting it with a yellow color and you can see it is uh, showing this sorry for the red uh, font color also so i'm going to put the ending double quotes it will change to blue and the yellow highlighting will go also it means that the error has been removed now the next is well, the next thing what oh, oh the next thing what i need to do is i need to yeah set the style h1 h2 h3 now, styles H1, H2, and H3 must be center aligned. Okay, we can do that also. So, what we need to do is, this is for H1, H2, and H3. So, we will write over here, put a semicolon, and then you write text align. You can see text align. I write T, T, E, X, H. Huh. Here you can see that the text align came just click on that or press enter what you need to do center just click center and press enter it will come automatically okay now so it means that all the three styles h1 h2 and h3 have been set to zap chancery black error itc or if that is not available then def uh, show the default serif font and the text alignment for H1, H2, and H3 should be centered. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Style H1 must be red with no green or blue elements. No green or blue elements. No, it means that must be red. So the color which should display should be red. H1 must be red with no green or blue elements. So here I'm going to write okay H1 this is for H1 H1 press enter or just put the curly bracket H1 okay so the color of H1 should be color put colon and put the hashtag and we need to specify the hexadecimal coding scheme so see here zero 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 the first two zeros represent the red color the next two zeros represent green the next two represent the blue so what color should be there must be red so it means the first two have to be ff and then no green so zero zero and no blue so zero zero so this is how you are going to specify and then for h2 it should be blue no green and no red H3 should be blue with no green or red. So for H2 and H3 both the same. So for H2 and H3. So I'm going to copy all that. Control C. No need to type that again. Control V. 
and I will change that to H2 comma H3 okay so what should be the color of H2 and H3 that should be blue this is R first two put it zero this is second two zero RG and the last two zeros are blue so you need to display the blue color so put it FF make it as FF blue with no green or red elements okay color hashtag zero 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 FF yeah so it means that for H2 and H3 the color will be blue for H1 the color will be red okay so that's done now what about the next thing the next is that is very important we need to have we need to have all borders and grid lines must be red with no green or blue elements and match the requirements of question number one question number one where 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 we saw that there were 15 marks for question number one this one yeah this thing so we need to do that over here also let's see how we can do that There is different method also to do uh, all that. Like you can uh, do this. Uh, you can create this style sheet in another method also. Like here, you can you can see that I'm typing each and every information. Okay, so in that case, you can forget you cannot remember okay now here you can see that this is the format tab if you need to specify a new style you need to click on new style once you click on new style this new style window will open in front of you with the help of that also, you can specify the uh, settings, the, re the requirements which are required for the style sheet. The changes which you want to do for your style sheet. You can do it from here also. The choice is totally yours. Now, all these things are done. The last thing which we need to do is, it is basically related to the the borders so let's see how we can do that so all the grid lines must have must be red okay let's see just you need to do one thing okay I will uh, tell you about this from the second method which is go to format click on new now in the selector what you need to select you need to select table or you need to write table over there okay you can select table or you need to write the table over there table is basically what it's a tag it's related to the table which you have drawn so I will write a table okay yeah I'm going to specify the table over here and then press enter uh oh sorry yeah the table tag has come but I need to modify it so go to format new style that is basically table okay and then what I need to specify in the table I need to specify the border so click on border so what should be the border the border as per the requirement of the t 
tape uh, paper is borders and grid lines must be red so from here I'm going to specify the red color okay you can see over here it is showing hashtag FF0000 and the next I need to specify uh, I need to specify the grid lines and the uh, this uh, what you say here I'm going to specify the grid lines and the out outer lines the grid lines are basically the boundary of the table uh, no no the grid lines are basically the internal boundaries which are separating the cells and the border is basically the outside border okay now I'm going to specify the border style and the border style which you need to specify is it is basically solid why if I don't specify the solid you will not be able to see as per the requirement of the paper so make it solid and then you need to click on apply and ok ok let's do press on apply and ok so uh, this I will remove because that is extra okay, here you can see that the table bought uh, bo a table the border color is hashtag FF0000 and the border style should be solid once that is done you need to do what you need to make sure that the requirement of question number one it is fulfilled so I need to specify I need to specify yeah table comma TD okay it should be solid red okay and now I'm going to specify the border width the border width as per question number one it is four pixels yeah the external table border must have a width of four pixels and the grid line must be two pixels so the TD basically represents the grid lines okay the internal lines and the external border is basically four pixels so four pixels for the external border and two pixels for the internal grid lines so let's see how we can do that so I'm going to specify here table start the bracket okay what I need to do over here I need to specify the borders now the borders is the border width so border b o r d e r hyphen width w i d t h for a semicolon uh, not semicolon for the column and then specify for p x px stands for pixel and similarly uh, you need to specify the uh, this is basically the table border which is 4 pixel and what about TD TD basically the grid lines for a comma uh, not for a comma these curly brackets then again the border width should be control C control V border width it should be 2 pixels there you go I hope each and everything is done as per the requirement of the paper let's uh, see it again and then confirm whether it is done or not okay now let's see this is the heading level H1 H2 and H3 that is 
Zap Chancery, Black Adder ITC, and Default Sarif. Okay, text align equals to center. Okay, that's done also. Then you need to for H1, H2 the color scheme. The color scheme. Let's see. For H1, H2, H3 must be center. That is done. For H1, it should be red. F red, green, blue. So it is red. Okay. Then then it will be H2 and H3 blue H2 and H3 blue red green blue okay that's done also then we can specify uh, style okay that's done all borders and grid lines must be red uh, this is the table and a uh, border okay table border should be the color is red okay then the grid lines so, uh, here you need border style should be solid if you don't specify solid the borders will not be viewable okay for sure it will not be and the color of the border and the internal grid lines is red as per the requirement of the paper okay and then the table border should be four pixels wide and the table grid line should be two pixels okay that's fine i guess that's done we will save that we have saved it okay now let's see we just preview that in the web browser Let's see what we can do. I'll save as baby style. Save. We will replace. Oh, fine. Yes. is not being applied go to file let's check uh, what mistake is being done you can see that I've applied it again and then it's working now similarly you can do with that also go to format CSS then let it start it again and now you can see that it's working again that's fine so that's uh, working properly now I'm going to preview that in the web browser let's see okay well guys you can see that it's working properly so this is how it's going to work okay you can it's appearing in the center of the page and it's uh, working perfectly fine I need to check it out whether table order with four pixels and TD. Let's see what data 
start again to make sure that each and everything is working as per our requirement of the paper. So let me check it again. Table TD. Whether this is capital small, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's not a problem. Uh, table TD. Okay, I will put a space over here. And here also. Here also. I will keep on saving the changes which I'm doing. Then color that is fine. Table TD color is fine. Okay, the border style should be solid. Border width is four pixels. Yeah, after four pixels, I need to specify. Text align equals to center. I put a semicolon over here. I think we don't need to let's see it out. I put a semicolon over here also. I put a semicolon over here also. And then after px I put a semicolon. And after this 2px I put a semicolon also. Okay, let's see. It works properly or not. I can just save it again. And then preview it in the background. Okay, that's fine. That's working perfectly alright. It's as per the requirement of our paper. I hope you guys understood how to solve that. Now, a few tasks are remaining which you guys need to do. That is basically evidence. Wow. <laughs> So, in the evidence, you need to specify certain things. Uh, what is that? So, let's see. The first, in the uh, display the web browser. See here. It is saying something. Display the web page in your browser if necessary. Resize it so that all the page can be seen. All text can be easily read. The address bar is visible. Take a single screenshot of the browser window and place this in your evidence document. Okay, let's see, we can do that also. Now, I will open that again in any web browser. Just click over here, I just click on this drop down list. You can see a lot of browsers will be there. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Just, just click over here. It open in a web browser. I need to scroll up and down in order to see. So what I need to do, just press the control key, press the control key from the keyboard and roll the mouse scroll wheel down, okay? What you need to do again, press, in such a way that it is visible so that is 50 percent zoom that is uh, 67 it will not be visible so I will make it smaller okay fine that's okay now I need to just to take the screenshot how to take the screenshot go to the snipping tool SNIP click on snipping tool and then you need to just click on new and then here you can see that I've captured the screenshot there you go copy and paste it in your evidence document evidence one right click and paste here you can see that the address bar is visible and the page is also visible double click on that you can zoom in a little bit as per your, uh, you can expand it as per your requirement. Go to text part, 
make it tight so that it's easier for you to move around if it is not visible you think it the text is not visible you can change the orientation of your document to landscape right now it's portrait you can change it to landscape so you will have more uh, room to expand it okay so that is evidence number one and then you need to take a copy of the html source and place this in your evidence document okay so this is the code this is bb.htm so go to bb.htm and then go to the code so this is all the code for it so what i need to do press ctrl a from the keyboard all the code will be selected press ctrl c from the keyboard and then evidence number two right click and click on paste okay now here you can see that all the text has been pasted okay now the next step is the next uh, is evidence three uh, take a copy of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document okay let's see where is the style sheet this is the style sheet which i created just right now you can either select that all copy and paste it over there or you can use the snipping tool click on new and then take the evidence there you go okay so right click copy and then uh, paste it in your evidence document this is evidence number three so right click and paste there you go you can zoom in uh, you can expand a little bit so that it's viewable properly okay that's fine now the next step is there you go this is basically you need to uh, just uh, evaluate your answer evaluate your like uh, this is evidence number four uh, evaluate in your own words the choice of fonts used for this web page type your evaluation in your own words into your evidence document using no more than 100 words so let's see okay now here i'm going to write suppose i put it in the form of bullet points like I write fonts and the script fonts are more difficult to read okay that's one uh, evaluation I did uh, then the next there's uh, according to me there is a poor contrast between the text and the background uh, like as per my mindset as per uh, after watching all that after performing all that and then then what uh, the fonts must match match the style styles in the company's company's logo because logo is important and then 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 uh, like font uh, font color font color like matches See the design okay font color matches okay some of the font color matches the color logo which uh, which oh which uh, 
which is set set style edge one which is set to style style edge one okay that is the, my evaluation after creating that web page after seeing the fonts after seeing the style uh, the contrast and the background each and everything this is what my uh, evaluation was related to that page that evidence five is basically related f6 and seven is related to the ms excel part so i hope you guys understood how um, to solve this paper everything should be clear to you if you don't understand anything please feel free to ask the questions take care stay safe and bye